to Combat Wing Chun. I'm Sifu David. Today I'm going to show you some techniques on the wooden dummy, especially this one. It is the double gan so and then hyun so down to the uh, double palm and clamp back up to the double palm up here. So I'll show you how to use that in some self defense applications. Let me do one in real speed so you just see how it's done on the dummy. So it comes out in a circle and it's coming in and kind of in slightly, you pull in slightly, then the fingers go in, you do a dune, down, and you sit slightly to get more power into your downward palm, then your hands turn in, and as you squeeze your elbows together and you stand up, then you get that extra power when you stand up to get that palm. So you do it fast, it's like this, that's how fast it is. So let me show you, like I said, how to apply it in the self-defense. So before I show you how to use it, let me show you how not to use it. Here's what a lot of people think it's used for, and in my experience, it doesn't work. So it, uh, don't use it against a choke. So let's say you're doing two-handed choke. Let's say this guy is twice the size, he's like 250 pounds, all his muscle. So what people think they can do this, and then close the hands together so that I can get in there, and then try to pull him up. It's impossible. He's not that big, but he's bigger than me, and he's pretty strong, and I can't even do it when I'm not getting choked. Now imagine I'm getting choked, he's doing it, and then I'm trying to squeeze his hands together and break his balance or break his structure is next to impossible, especially if I'm not as big as him and I'm not as strong, okay? So that's how you don't use it. Let me show you a couple ways to use it the right way. Let me show you how to use the double gansau against a two-handed push. All right, so that's how you use it. Let me show you in slow motion. So two pushes coming in, lean back a little bit, Make his hands come together so I draw in his force. Then as it's coming back together, you bring it apart again, and then you bring it up to the face, push him back. If you want to train in a safer way, you don't have to push the face. So it's coming, just push the chest back, nice safe way to train it. But in a real situation, if it's a higher threat, then what you would do is boom, and once you open it up, eye gouge to the thumb. I mean, eye gouge with your thumbs like that or to the throat. Either way, you're pushing his chin and pushing him back and you can run or you can keep it your attack up to you. So that's how you use the double gun cell. Here's one way to use it is against a double handed push. So let's say he pushes a double handed push. Okay, what I'm doing is basically getting on the outside, circling and then opening and then pushing him back that way. So make sure that you step back because if you don't, you better be really good. Let's say you push again and don't step back. Okay, you better be really good at doing this in order to do it without stepping back and without losing your balance like that. You have to be really good and really smooth and really soft to do that. Most people can't do that, so what, it, I, uh, what I suggest is to take a step back. Okay, do it again, do this one. Take a step back. Okay, so all I've done is in slow motion, right, boom. I don't want to close it like this because if you keep pushing, and I just basically centered his push. Stupid, right? So what I would do is to close it and then open it. So that when he keeps pushing, he just, he's just going this way, right? Okay, so what I want from here, once I open this space, I want to attack and just push him back. It's a very, very non-lethal way of just getting out of the push, countering the push and push the guy back so he can run or he can do something else. So a couple of points with this technique is when he's pushing, first of all, don't just stop there because if he keeps pushing that way, that doesn't do anything. All you've done is just move his arms from here to pushing you to move the arm, arms to here to push you, which is he's still going to push you. So what you need to do is we're going to bring it in, then open it up again. Okay, bring it in, right? Bring it in. That's what we used on the dummy. Bring it in, then open it up. Okay, so he's bring it in, then open up. See how my fingers are trying to open up like this? Okay, once you open up, you bring it back up, and it's up back up to him. That's how you do it in slow motion. Uh, another thing that you might want to do is don't stand square, because unless you're really good, let's say you do a push, right? And you'll be able to um, distort his body without moving from your spot like that, Unless you have a lot of sensitivity, a lot of softness, uh, most people won't be able to do that. So what you need to do is when you push it, take a step back and lean forward. 
like this, so that you have structure. So if he really strongly pushes you, right, then you have this space and you have this structure to allow you to push back. All right, so take one step back. In the form, we just stay still like this, but very hard to do for someone without a lot of training. Here's a very useful application of the double gang cell. It's against the tackle. All right, so double gang cell against the tackle. Let me show you slow motion what I did. What I did. So this is basic wrestling. All right, um, somebody comes in for a tackle. You want to stop him either his, with his head, his shoulders, okay, before he can get to you. So basically, you're using this to kind of get into his neck here, and also take a step back so you have a good structure. And then let's see he keeps pushing, okay. And I'm gonna just turn this way, and then do a uh, do a throw just like that. So use a double cancel. And once again. Uh, make sure that we take a step back. If you try to tackle, you can just do it like the form. There's no freaking way I'm gonna be able to resist the tackle. And that's a really, really good, really soft, and have a lot of training. Okay, so let's take that step back. One more time, slow motion. Boom, I stop his floor so that he can't go further. He pushes more. Okay, either I can go this way, or you can go this way, up to you. So that's another application. Hey, thanks for watching my Wing Chun dummy techniques and self-defense applications. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you check out some of my other videos on this channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel to get all the coolest Wing Chun self-defense, Kung Fu, and uh, meditation tips even. So we see you in the next video.